<laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I see it. Is the rim? <laughs> oh man, I love the nineties. <laughs> guys it is February 11th and it's 45 degrees the ground is thawed I can tell because a lot of people have been detecting the last couple days I haven't been able to but I am today it's Saturday I got tomorrow off and you know what I'm gonna be doing look at that beautiful crown I'm excited and so I'm gonna it's got some longevity I'm gonna run the small coil and see what we could come up with all right come back on the first cool find well after suffering through all the pop cans along the front I finally trusted the nickel numbers and I'm glad I did I got far enough away from the road to where I'm gonna start digging them solid I think that was a fork I really do it's not pewter but cool I'll clean it up yeah definitely it was a fork and I don't dig many forks so and I broke it <laughs> I had a 61 signal I started scraping the ground with the pinpointer and it looks like a toe tap Yep, it is. There's the toe tap for the day. Cool. So, I just dug this, and you know, it wasn't all that big a deal. I was happy to see it's pewter, and it's. A, I was assuming, and I think I broke it, but I was assuming it was a pewter spoon bowl. So before I filled the hole back in, I swung over it, and there was more in there. I love those seashells on the bottom of pewter spoon bowls. <laughs> so cool. That's a big one, too. <laughs> I'll see if I can clean it up a little better. Check it out. Neat, huh? That's probably the biggest one I've ever found. I had uh, fatty numbers. I'm surprised to see him musket ball and yeah I don't have my rag hanging off my belt so I'm gonna get all sorts of dirty today had a 77 signal and just didn't feel like live digging and that's okay that I didn't because it's just a parasol slide I'm finding some relics. I'm ready for a coin now. <laughs> All right, it's real bouncy, but it still sounds really good. Maybe it's cuts deep. I don't know. Stayed both directions, so I'm all over it. I better take my headphones off. I can't hear nothing. Okay. Is it in that? Oh, 
That sounds a whole heck of a lot better, don't it? It's in here. What do we got? Watch it be a rivet or something. I think this. <laughs> yep, rivet. Now I had in between nickel numbers and fatty numbers, and I just popped this out. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's thin. It's round though, that's good. It sure looks like a coin. <gasps> it is a nickel, awesome. Shield nickel. Oh, sweet. Looks like it will clean up. It's just not doing a very good job for me at the moment. Let me clean it up and I'll come right back. Yeah, I scraped a lot of it off. Uh, I did get a year. Looks like 19 or 1868. And boom, beautiful. <laughs> This had a 68. It didn't ever go into 70s. And I think it's a button. Yes. Oh, I think there's something on the front. Oh, there is. All right, I gotta clean that up. Hold on. Yep, there is, and it's cool. Was it a basket of fruit or something? It's not one of them Jacksonian, Jacks, whatever they are, is it? Jacksonian? <laughs> Let me know in the comments, because I don't know them real well. That's that cool. Sounds way too good to not bring you in. I am off the site a little bit. I'm in small silver country. Maybe not. I am loud, so I'm just going to use the hand shovel. Oops. I don't think it's very deep. Right. Over here. Looks like it. Okay. I gotta take my pinpointer apart. That vibrating is driving me crazy. Uh oh, I don't like the way this looks. No, oh, that's a rock. That's good. So, whatever it is. I forget about two cent pieces. Is that what that is? Wishful thinking, huh? Oh, no, it's a big old woman's coat button. That's cool, too. Awesome. Check it out. Gold gills still left on it. Let's see if I... Oh, there's gold gilled on the back too. See it shine? Awesome. That's cool. 
I almost didn't dig that. Gave me like a, oops, sorry. It gave me like a 40s, 45. Maybe because it's broke up. But there's my thimble. This is a pretty good signal. I love them 80s. Sounds pretty loud. I see nothing on the surface. This is the next morning, by the way. I got my rag. <laughs> Snob, maybe with a hole. Oh, muddy. That's what I'm gonna guess. There's the set screw, maybe. Cool. Yeah, definitely an ox knob. See the threads? Big hole, small hole, set screw. Here's what I've been waiting for. Both directions. Oh, I saw me. Looks like a largey. Oh, yes. Boom. One cent. And that would be a braided. Yep. We're gonna get a date. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to 18, maybe 48. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can try it one more time. Maybe let it dry out a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. It's probably a 48 or. A Something three forty three fifty three. Nice. Well, I had a sixty eight uh, one way and seventy two the next. I get it up; it was staying sixty five sixty eight. I was hoping it was a uh, fatty, but I think I think it's a button. I see the shank. Nice. This one. Uh, this one was running from me. I either got my first Indian or it's a button. I think it's a button. I say it was running from me because I'm surprised I stopped for it. I had just a real tiny high tone amongst all the iron. And I went ahead and dug it out anyway. And it it cleaned right up. Just a flat button. This is much louder and I got 80s in the mix. 
I don't know if it's doing it now. The sun's too bright, but... There was an 81. I don't know where that corn cob is. I'm ready for an Indian, that's for sure. Could be. Oh, I think I see it. What is that? Oh, is that a suspender clip? No. Uh, reed? Big old pump, uh, pump organ reed looking type thing? Let me clean it up. I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't have the slightest idea. It's period though. It went with the home site. That's cool. Right, I want to show you guys something. It was under, see this uh, shiny mud? I got a 60s, like a 61, 62 low, like chime numbers. Very loud though, so I stuck my pinpointer in right there. You see the roundness? <laughs> Let me show you what it rang up. I don't know what it is yet, obviously. That's like almost chime numbers, but that's too big. A chime. It's probably a button, but I saw around this and got all excited, so I figured I'd bring you guys along. Okay, button. Very thin button. I wonder if it's Tomback. That number would be Tomback. Let me. Can't do nothing with muddy fingers. But I don't know. It doesn't look like Tomback from the back. Sure does on the front though. It is. Look at the shank. All right, I'll put a brush to it. A beautiful, intact, colonial, early pioneers, time back button. They're brittle. They don't always. Very rarely do they come out of the ground. So perfect. Cool. Oh, 10 yards from the tom back button. I had another 70s. It's either a button or an Indian. Oh, it's a button. This is going to be one of them button sites. What do we got here? What do you want to bet at the button? Should get it. Yeah. Off to the side in the shade. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. I don't care if that's another button when it's that. That is cool, big, gold gill. Look at that. That's gorgeous. All right, I'll put a brush to it. I'll be right back. 
beautiful. Look at Is that another one? Oh man, I love the 90s. <laughs> Boom. It is. Oh, so awesome. One wiper. One cent. Awesome. It's got the cancer going on. You don't see that with largies very often. No, I think that's just surface patina. Wow, nice, weird. Look at the green. Cool. Okay, we're gonna do a wrap up. Um, I've got lots. I'm, I, I don't have my board in here, but it's a good thing because I don't have room. This hunt started yesterday afternoon, right out of work, and it is, that was Saturday, and today is Sunday, it's probably 3 o'clock. These are copper strapping, from, uh, they all got holes in them, I think they were nailed to a structure, I'm not sure, they sound good. More copper strapping, it must have been close to the well, There's well chain links, with some chain still attached my pooled lead um, some CCR another one of them things some sort of tool anybody knows I've asked a couple times I don't think anybody's answered yet I keep them part of a horseshoe looks like a couple pieces of ox shoe this was lead and I was wondering if it was a rosette but I, there's some iron right there but I can't tell for sure. These were loud and they were high tones. I don't know what they are. I'm wondering if they were some sort of a hinge. Uh, fired musket ball, dropped musket ball. A different kind of ox knob. I don't know if this would be a, a, a earlier one or a later one. There's no wrench fittings on there. Uh, I think that's a tack, the head of to attack couple flat buttons there's a pretty little cuff button a couple cuff buttons but that's the only one with diagram on it I got a corset clip an awesome Tomvac complete Tomvac button a beautiful uh, infantry Civil War infantry coat button woman's coat button I've got a couple of them I found them before uh, I dug a, it's a 1868 shield nickel and two no date largies. A toe tap, rivet, parasol slide, and the piece that the uh, wire went into attached to those. Two thimbles. I got a couple square nails. Uh, oil lamp wick piece buckle uh, probably a rivet piece I'm not sure gear to something another thing I'm not sure about pocket knife piece I ain't sure about these either but uh, they're brass cylinders I don't know what that is there's two of them there my utensil pieces here's my brass ones and this I in the past, I've dug this before. It's almost like a hallmark. I'm sure it's on a utensil piece. There's a utensil stem. Uh, there's my pewter. There's the seashell spoon bowl. There's the regular spoon bowl. I think that's a stem. And that is a stem or a handle piece. So yeah, I've been busy. That was fun. I found a lot of keepers. I love that right there. Oh, it is. 
Awesome. <gasps> Silver. I think oh. I got another one. Look. I do.